Hey guys, it's Tom at R1 Works here, and today we are going to build the DC-1V1 shocks. So, a few things that we uh, already did was put on these uh, little O-rings that, um, for the bottom cap, seals that up. And then, for the shock collar, there's also a larger O-ring in there, as you can see. So we already put those in, and now we are going to build the shock cartridge. So, first thing you will need is, for each shock, is two o-rings and two spacers so now that you have those it has a little is an upside and a downside so a little hat there put that down and then just push that down in there and make sure it's set you can hear it snap a little bit and then we will take our shock o-ring grease and just get a little bit on there can't really use too much of this stuff once I have it in there, I'll put a bit more on if I can. Push that down. And then same thing with the second O-ring. It goes in right behind it. Push that down. And then just a bit more grease over here. Like I said, you really can't use too much of this stuff. And then we'll take the shock bottom. And then the last thing, as the hat also is going down, same as the other side. Push that down. There we go. A little difficult with the ring grease and then we will tighten the cap just like this tighten it all the way and then just back it off and then you'll do this for all four shocks so I'll go through that now Okay guys, so next we are going to put some pistons on the shock shaft. So first, let's get these pistons off of here. You want it to be very clean around the edges like this. So how we do that is kind of just take the X-Acto here, try and cut that off, it'll fly. And then just like so, try not to dig into it. And sometimes you just have to clean around the edge a little bit. And you're good to go. So let's do that to all of these. show you guys this is what it would look like just a little bit cut off there but it's still smooth around the edges okay now we are going to take the shock shafts and we have eight e clips so I like to put the first one on snap on pretty easily and we'll do this for all four of them Okay guys, now that we have uh, the pistons off of the tree, it's time to put pistons on the shock shaft. So take the piston just like this, slide it over, and then 
take the eclipse. Snaps on just like so. And we'll do that to all four. Okay, so now we have four shock shafts with pistons on them. So let's just put on shock colors here. It's pretty simple. Just make sure it's going on straight. And let's just thread it on. Do this for all four. Okay, so now that we have uh, the collars on and that the shock cartridge is all built up, let's put the shock shaft through the shock here. So what I like to do is, is drop a little bit of oil, it gets a little messy sometimes, and over the threads, so that way when you push it through, uh, it's a lubricating, you won't rip the O-rings, and pull it through. And just like that, and we'll do that obviously on all four. Okay, now that we have all of these done, just make extra sure that the shock is working freely. All of them feel the same, and then you can go from there. Okay guys, so now we are going to move on and we're gonna put the shock bottoms on the shock. So ideally, get some shock shaft pliers, um, work very well, doesn't damage the shock shaft this way, and tighten. Try and make sure that it's straight, especially right now, it's a 3D printed part. In the future, um, you still want to make it straight, but it won't be as critical. Um, so we have a base setting for how long the shock should be, so we're going to go 13.5 mil. Set this okay, a little too short here. Okay. And we're good. I mean, you'll just want to make all the shocks the exact same. All right guys, now we are ready to put the oil in the shock. So with our makeshift stand here, we are going to put in the shock oil. Grab it out. You'll see air bubbles come up, just slowly go up and down a few times. And you'll see there's a little bit of air in there. so. We're gonna let this shock sit and once the air is out we will continue to build. Okay guys now that you can see the air is all out of the shock it's completely clear all the way through so now we're ready to build so first thing we're gonna do is put the bladder over top 
press this down and a little bit of oil will come out. Just wipe this off a little bit. Okay. Now we will put this cap over and we will tighten this. And give a shock with minimal rebound. So we're gonna build all of these and then we'll get on to the next thing. All right guys, now that we have all the shocks bled and we have minimal to zero rebound, we are going to put the springs on. So for the front shocks, we're gonna use the green for this video. Just push this back. that on there, push that through, and your shock is built. Um, one of the main things that you want to check is make sure that when you're setting your ride height and stuff like that, that these, uh, the distance between the collar and the top of the body is the same. So you can measure that and kind of dial that in for your car. And now we have our finished product. Uh, the DC1V1 shocks are now all built up. Um, shocks are gonna be working correctly and uh, now it's time to hit the track. 